Let's see if I can keep this short. To those about the TwitchCon, hope your hair is done, you got your dress or your suit for the Twitch party, or you're just dressing down, you're ready to talk, you're ready to network, you're ready to learn at panels. But there's one thing that I wanted to cover, and this is mostly for me, and I think a lot of other people might have this, and it's about interaction, not networking. Not networking, because not every hi, hello, hug, butt touch is about networking. What I'm talking about is just simple interaction, starting, initiation. And something I want to do during this TwitchCon is, is initiate as much as I can. Um, I know there are stories I have from like E3 where I wanted to meet, say, UGR Gaming. I've never met him before, see him all over Twitter. Thought he'd be really cool to talk to. Sat there hoping he'd say hi to me. That's not gonna work, guys. It's just not gonna work. Uh, there are two pieces of this that I hope we can take home. For a person that sees themselves that identifies as a viewer, initiating is important and initiating is good because broadcasters won't necessarily initiate. You know, we're, we're all over doing stream stuff all the time, being extremely outgoing, but you'll see amongst a lot of broadcasters that we're actually pretty timid and the interaction might help. If you see a broadcaster, approach them. That's really the easy thing. That's usually what you're told. The other side of it is not usually what you're told because broadcasters that are, you know, on a certain level kind of have this stuff. Like, it's unsaid. And it's something I think needs to be said. I think that broadcasters also have a burden to, a burden of proof to approach people they don't know. And this is tough because, you know, you're, you're with your, especially if you're with your friends. If you're with your friends, you know, you're in your kind of comfortable little, little bubble. And, you know, of course, in the EGR standpoint, I should have, I could have said something. I should have said something. But there are two, there are two sides to that. And um, I think that hopefully, in my standpoint, going to TwitchCon this weekend, that I would be in the standpoint where I can I can say to somebody, I can see somebody, you know, walking around new. If I see a new face, I'll say it to that. If I see a new face, I'm going to say hi to them. If I don't know who you are, or if I do know who you are, I'm going to say hi to you. I'm going to introduce you. If Jen's there with me, I'm going to introduce her to you. It's just something, it's something I, I really feel like a lot of us should be able to do. Create those meaningful connections. Um, because there are, some, there are connections that we're going to have on Twitter and on Twitch and in other social media that will not carry over to the personal, the, to meet space. And I think it should. So give it a shot this weekend. And uh, if I'm not doing it, call me out on it. And uh, if you're not doing it, well, I'll come up and say hi to you. Because that's what I want to do. My point this TwitchCon is not necessarily networking. It's just to say hi to more people. Because that's step one and pretty much everything to do at Twitch. If you're going to TwitchCon, I'll see you there. And don't be afraid to say hi.